In this video, let's go through how we can hide sensitive information while screen sharing with Loom. So as you can see, I have the uh, Loom open and I'm going to start the recording. I'm going to select this particular tab which is open and click on share. So now you can see this, uh, the recording has been started and this will be sharing this particular screen. Now what I want to do is um, I have these videos and I don't want to share the face in these videos. So I can open up this application called blurweb.app. Um, you can install it. The link will be in the description or you can just visit blur web app and open up the first link. So as you can see, this blue border is visible everywhere. So the first option is you can just blur out any element or section by just a click. So I can just click on it and it will be blurred out. If I want to remove the blur, I can click on it again and the blur will be removed. I can click again on something else and that's how it will work. So this is one option. The second is you can blur out a particular part of a text. So for example, I'm going to first click on switch mode so that I can blur text rather than element. I am going to select this particular text till on and I'm going to click on blur selected text. Once I will do that, as you can see it, it has been blurred out. Now the next feature is blur area. So we have tried blur element. So you can blur out any element, whether it is a text, whether it is a um, image, whether it is anything else, you can blur it out with blur element. Then we discussed about blur text. Now the next feature is blur area. So while blur text and blur elements are very specific to how the elements are arranged on the, uh, the web page, blur area gives you a total freedom or, of selection however you want. So for example, in my case, I just want to hide this face in this video. So what I will do is I will select blur area and which I have clicked on okay, already. And I'm going to just make this rectangle in above the face. Once I will do that, I can just click on apply and click on this checkbox. Now, as you can see, if I will scroll up and down, it is blurred out and that blur will stay at that particular position. Now, this is one feature, but in some cases, what happens is you might not want to blur out in front of uh, when you are actually screen sharing. So for that blur web app have this feature, which is called keep blur. So what you can do is you can click on key, uh, blur web app click on this save icon, which is called key blur. I'm going to click on that. It will turn green. Then I'm going to click on, let's say this. So this is an element blur. And then I'm going to click on blur area and I'm going to blur this out like that. I'm going to click on apply, click on check. Now, if I will reload, as you can see, the blur stays even after the reload. I'm going to show you even after like, uh, even if you will open this up in a new tab, it will stays. So that is how easy it is to blur out sensitive information while using Loom. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know and I'll see you in the next one.